Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a brand new NBA 2K23 video. Today, we're here to talk to you guys about season seven. Now, as you guys may know, the season is now live. If you guys haven't known about 2K dropping a new season, they usually drop them every six weeks on a Friday. But in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Ken Mascot's Save NBA 2K23 and a little bit more deep dive into that, as well as show you the rewards and show you a brand new build for season seven, all in one video. I don't think I've made a video like this in quite a while where I get to jump around on many different topics as well as try to condense it into the next 10 minutes. Uh, let's start the video. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Appa, King Kong. First and foremost, I would like to say that NBA 2K23 is a video game where a lot of people load up in the game and sit around for a very, very, very long time without going AFK. Now, what that means for NBA 2K23 in a whole is that there does look like there's a huge player base when you first load into the city because most people load into the block. There may be anywhere from 20 to 40 people sitting there at any given time. Matter of fact, I would say 20 to 40 people almost every like bus station, whether it's the station at the park, whether it's the station near the shops, whether it's the station at the block, whether it's the station near the event center, event center, maybe five to 10, if it's not an event going on. Um, but for the most part, a lot of people just sit around. Now, when I asked Ken Mascot save NBA 2K23, I wasn't talking about save the game in a sense where a lot of people are calling the game D and T, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. But more so, can it bring back a player base that is willing to play to level 40 no matter what, whether it's with randoms, whether it's squatted up, whether it's in a wreck, the park, the theater, can we bring back that player base? Because... As it stands, when I load up in NBA 2K23, I currently just go into the wreck. But there's been moments like today where there is going to be 2XP inside the park if you wear a 2K Drive t-shirt or a pair or whatever the case may be that they've given you as a level one reward. Now, of course, 2XP on the first day, boom, knocking the socks off. Everybody's going to be on the game. If you're not on the game for season seven, day one, you're kind of missing out because it's a Friday afternoon, shoot, Friday morning, and they're already giving out double XP all the way until tomorrow. You can't beat that. You can't beat free XP on the first day. Now, when I asked about the mascots, right, that is the level 40 reward. It's not level 30. It's not level 25. It's not level 35. It's not level, even level 39. It's level 40. For the last three seasons, I have been getting comments in my comment section. Uh, comments on my Twitch streams, even comments via Twitter or Instagram story DMs of people saying, yo, shoot, all I got to do is hit level 39 for this. All I got to do is hit like level 29, level 30 for that. Like the last season before this, I think people only played for the Dash 2K shoes. For the season that just passed season six, they played up until the, the uh, pattern to level 39. Some people were really cool with not even hitting 40, a lot of people didn't want the glider. And it didn't make sense to me, but once I got the glider, I kind of understood why a lot of people didn't want to grind for it because of the mechanics of the glider. Now, I want to say the best cosmetic reward ever given in 2K are the Dash 2K shoes. Simply because the new animation that they've given us for 2K23 is amazing you can get anywhere and everywhere with them sneakers on you don't need nothing else remember when i made a video about the drone being a being a dope level 40 reward it was at the time until they came out with the dash 2k shoes the dash 2k shoes are lit, like i said amazing like i could put on my jabberwocky whole suit and not be wearing the dash 2ks and still get the same effect as if i were wearing them so when i say can mascot saved 2k23 can it bring back the player base so big so much so many people to the point where 
everybody wants to get that level 40 reward and once they get that level 40 reward will they then go to the store buy new mascots and keep playing before the season is over remember we have six weeks some people hit 40 in a week some people hit it in a few days some people hit it after the first double xp event some people hit it you know mid-season and there's people like me who just were super busy for season six that hit it three days before the season ended but what i can say is i believe that it can bring back the player base i want to know your thoughts in the comment section for sure because man if mascots can do this do you think that they should give us mascots in the beginning of the game should mascots even be a level 40 reward at this point let me know there are two notifications sent out by NBA 2K23 and by PlayStation at two different times today, letting everyone know on the Explorer page for anyone who has this game that the new season is live. They're trying to push people into the game to make sure that people get online to see what those brand new rewards are. So with that being said, let's hop into the game. So you can always kind of tell what 2K has dropped in the new season, most likely from the splash screen up as soon as you turn the game on now as soon as i did turn the game on there is no purchase option so they don't they don't have any bundles available for the beginning of the season now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load up my new build and then i'll show you this build once we go over the rewards so first off you already know oh so hold up you get to claim something from the lego 2k drive collection and gain double xp on the first day that is a that is a huge w actually Usually the, the shirts that they give us on the first day of each season, we really don't ever put them on. But this is actually dope. They're, they're going to be promoting 2K Drive, which is the new LEGO game. And we actually get double XP for that. That's cool. I'll take that. Now they have a season seven basketball, Hearts Ball Trail. Um, I would have loved to see that more in February. But, you know, that's just me. New jump shot meter that doesn't look that bad. Um, circular player indicator. I think I would probably use that um let's see nba team green releases i am still waiting on the sixers i wish that these didn't release each season i wish i could just get my sixers drawn and be cool like um double xp at level nine cool Ooh, exclusive oversized nasa t i'm not gonna lie to y'all let me know inside the comment section if y'all think the oversized t's are a l or a w me personally i think they're a huge w it gives us a different look you know what i mean and most of the time everybody kind of looked the same i kind of like this uh 2k21 banner not gonna lie um not gonna use that emotes um plus one blocks that'll probably good, be good for my big actually um another 30 minute xp coin uh let's see mm, agent zero joint cool um our 2 xp coin i, I ain't gonna lie I think I think that I think that's pretty good. Two levels and then you get an hour joint. That's not bad. Um, season seven vest. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I'm aware. I might wear it. I ain't gonna cap. Um, reach level twenty one. You get an NBA jersey. Um, I'm, I would definitely sport the Iguodala joint. I probably would sport the O'Neal joint. I I probably sport them all, but most likely it'll probably be the Iggy joint. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not gonna lie. The Anthony Edwards banner is fire. I'm not going I'm not even going to cap. Um what else? One standing dunk. Uh, I probably won't ever use that. Oh, they finally have the colorful hairstyle where it's more of a a shorter cut. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad. I I don't know I don't know why, but I feel like I feel like I've seen it, but maybe it was in a different colorway. Uh, who knows. Um you get another hour at 26. That's man, that's a lot of that's a lot of levels between your hour. That's that's eight levels between the next hour. Oof um a three-point shooting boost arm sleeve then we get one of those last season and we can't double them up they they all have to be on the same arm so i don't know that that mamba banner that mamba banner fire i'm not gonna lie it's fire now at level 30 we get the throwback affiliation mascot okay cool 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 um i hope that we could buy all of them this time around you know what i'm saying i would love to be a viper playing against uh no i mean Maybe it's just my own like diabolical brain, but I would love to be trolling at the Knights court wearing the Knights outfit. 
and be a whole beast. I, that's just me. All right, we get some Gatorades and everything like that. That Giannis banner is fire. Carmelo banner is always fire. Um, let's see. Uh, no asset. Okay. Um, season seven jacket. Uh, I don't know. Um, two hour two XP coin at thirty six. Mmm, this NASA suit. I would. I wish I could. I wish I could press X and look at it on my player. 2K, this is a message to, to the devs. I would love to be able to press X and see what the preview look would be on my my player so that when I make videos like these and I want to promote this NASA suit, for, like I could do that because I would have a screenshot and a thumbnail. Yeah. Um, season seven suit 38. Badge point. Finally, the badge point is back. The badge patterns, don't get me wrong, they're okay. They're cool. But I would love for the badge point to be designated at level 39 every single time. I don't want anything else, you know what I'm saying, prior to that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. At level 40, NBA mascots. Now, in NBA 2K22, I spent a shit ton of money on mascots when they did hit the streets. Now, I know for sure that I'm going to be buying a Sixers mascot. But I don't know if I'm going to dump a whole bunch of VC into... The mascots at level 40 unless i make a bunch because i made a new build and we'll be talking about the new build in a minute now let's go ahead over to my player animations let's see what they got for us okay anthony davis jump shot is in the game i don't know i don't know it's a high arcing shot the release height is the a plus but i know we could probably up the speed if you know what i'm saying like if i had a but what how high how tall you gotta be you gotta be at least 610 okay ricky rubio I probably never use it. <laughs> that serious. The the way that joint look, I already know it's over. J.R. Smith. Holy yo, J.R. Smith jump shot might be crazy out of the box. Dead ass out of the box. J.R. Smith jumper might be crazy. See, this is what I'm saying. Bro. Bro, his jump shot might be crazy out the box. Yo, somebody, somebody, somebody drop a comment. Let me know if you used it. Cause I might I might try it out. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Now that thing, that thing might be crazy out the box, bro. Yo, if you speed that joint up to the fastest, shit, that joint probably be crazy. And it looks like that's the only jump shot. They got new dribble pull up. Let me see. What dribble pull up you got? Jason Tatum's dribble pull up. I don't know. Now it look like you long arm it every time. I don't know though. Nah, it look it looked like a long arm every time. You don't it's gonna be hard to like shoot without the meter and try to learn your timing because it looked like he long arms it almost every single time. I don't know about that one. Post hooks. Oh, they finally got Kareem's. They finally put Kareem's inside the game. Wow. Post shot, D book. Why wouldn't why wouldn't D books uh post be inside like when when it was the uh D book like release for that season? I don't know. All right, they got John Stockton dribble style, and it's not gonna show me anything. Oh, there we go. Mm. That might be. Nah, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. And I know it's I know it's like this because I'm on this big, but I don't know. What's this? Let me see what the signature size of it is. Nah, this ain't. I mean, you you are standing up straight, which may allow you to get a crazy speed boost, but I, I just don't see it. All right, the only okay, Donovan Mitchell. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Small guards might go crazy with this. That move, that move right there. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Donovan Mitchell Joe might be might be a, a bucket. I ain't gonna care. Hold up. What else we got? Oh, they got John Wall John. They got John Wall John in it. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying. Listen, listen. I. Ain't, All 
All right, now, before I was really interrupted, Jesus. That happens to me way too much. All right, they bring Kimba Walker size up escape in the game. Nah, that's going to be that's gonna be crazy. That's going to be crazy. A lot of people going to use that. I already know it. All right, what else we got? Ooh, a little too fast now. They got Allen Iverson moving crossover in the game, finally. Not many people used Allen Iverson's moving crossover, but I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if it's if if it's glitchy or anything like that with with any of the new uh new ways that people play, but that's the only one that they dropped on that. No moving behind the back. No moving behind the back. No new moving spin. Uh, moving Hezzy Scotty. Whoa. Now hold on, Scotty John might be that John a little bit too fast. I don't know. I think I think a lot of people might end up using Scotty, especially the bigger players, the six nines. They might use Scotty's. Moving step back. I know I already know I already know smaller guards gonna want to use Kyrie. They won't want to test it out. But that that move right there, the uh that that little uh little hop, that right there, boom. I think a lot of people might end up trying to use that. Alright. Uh no new triple threats, of course. And no flashy pass. Okay. So here we are. My season seven build. Can I be completely honest with you guys real fast? I never intended to make this build. I never intended to make another build on NBA 2K23. I never thought that I would end NBA 2K23 with less than 50 KVC. Well, guess what? I will be. And it's all due to this build. Now, let's go ahead and edit this build real fast. Now, of course, this is a rebirth. We already know that. But this build was created for me for my grind in the final week trying to get to level 40 of season six. Now, if you guys notice, a lot of my streams have been random wreck as of late. I haven't been wanting to pull people's arm, you know, twist people's arm or even, you know, log into other people's accounts to tell them you're going to get on this game or else. So what I've been doing is I've been playing random rep and within doing that, there wasn't enough rep for me with my six, nine build leading up to the last couple days of the season. So as far as this build goes, we are seven foot, 239 pounds with a seven ten wingspan and we are built. Yes, we are built. We are mad. I mean, just, uh, but listen, as far as this goes, you guys can see the, the attributes here. On screen we have a potential to get an 85 close shot a 86 driving dunk a 80 standing dunk Giannis, um a 65 free throw which is perfect with carmelo anthony's free throw remember that uh uh the ability to get an 86 pass accuracy yes i said it 86 a 80 interior defense i know what you're saying why so low because it's it's, it's actually fixed now it's no longer broken so you can kind of like manipulate you know, your interior defense, and it doesn't have to be super duper high to make up for the lack of contest in the paint. Now, perimeter defense, you already know, 54. <laughs> um, my steal, potential of 70. That's not bad for somebody that's going to be sitting paint and getting lane steals and having the ability from pogo stick and workhorse and all these other badges to go for a lane steal, not get it, and still be able to potentially block a shot. Pretty dope. 99 block, speaking of block, that is insane. A potential to have a 99 block on a build. It's beautiful. I'm just going to say that. Uh, potential of having a 99 defensive rebound. Y'all already know. 99 defensive rebound. You can't go wrong with that, right? Just can't. Now, also, an 86 strength and an 88 stamina. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. 73 speed, 65 acceleration. Bruh, you're going to be slow. I know. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and continue. Now, as far as this build goes, the way that I built it out, I have zero shooting badges, zero. I have the potential to have 16 finishing, 15 playmaking, and 29 defensive. Now, if you guys look here, all of this stuff is just maxed out and ready. So, uh, as far as my driving layup goes, I'm not really worried about that. You know what I'm saying? My driving dunk is really where like everything is at. But if you notice the badges, Fearless finisher on goal, limitless takeoff on goal, aerial wizard on goal, back down punisher on goal, masher on goal, fast twitch on goal. This is a inside big. 
It's beautiful. And I actually like it. It's not that bad. Now, um, as far as my passing goes, only thing I'm worried about helping out with floor general, bang, break starter, bang, special delivery, bang, bailout, bang, dimer, bang, I'm in needle threader for sure. Post playmaker, on the other hand, don't know if I'll ever use it. Clan breaker, just put it on just because. Because you never know if you'll get that clan breaker against another big. Now, as far as my defensive and rebounding, the biggest takeaways from this, anchor, Hall of Fame, pogo stick, Hall of Fame, rebound chaser, Hall of Fame, brick wall on goal, mwah, chase down artists, Hall of Fame, box out beast, Hall of Fame, workhorse on gold is perfect. And just throw on challenger and interceptor just in case, because you never know. You, you might be getting a steal and you might get a contest. Just never know. As far as the takeovers go, it's all about the team. For me, I want to badge boost my team every single time I can. Now, getting the team badge boost, if I could get my takeover two times in one quarter a wreck, oh my God, my guys are shooting lights out. They won't miss. And as far as see the future, it only allows me to get my takeover faster having a rebounding take. All right, I would have doubled up on playmaking, but most of the time R1 L, R1 L ones are a little tricky nowadays, and a lot of people hawk those. So having to see the future on allows me to get that takeover for team uh, badge boost immediately. Now, a lot of people here would say, well, why don't you just go team ratings boost? I mean, I feel that. It's, it, it's actually a smarter idea if I went with team ratings boost because that will allow my shooters that maybe have an 85-3 to have a little bit more, my 93s a little bit more, my 95-3s a little bit more. But for the most part, who's going to know? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Whew, we finally made it. That was a lot of info, a lot to talk about, and I would love to know your thoughts inside the comment section about everything about the rewards, about the attributes, about the animations, about the mascots question, as well as the brand new build for season seven. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your boy, Ipod King Carter signing out. Make sure you guys hit that like button. It really helps the channel a lot. That's what they've been telling me on YouTube and on other algorithms. Like, hey, the like button goes a, a long way. Thanks. Peace, y'all. King Carter. King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong.